Hello, everybody. My name is Esports Money's ESM Mac 10, whatever you want to call me. And today we're going to be going over optimizing and properly configuring your video, audio, and microphone settings in Dota 2. I made a video like this year, maybe two years ago. That was really popular, but we've had a lot of changes to the interface and a lot of changes to what you can and cannot do in the customization of all of your Dota settings. So we're going to start with video and move our way into audio. <clears throat> First, um, general aspect ratio depends on your monitor resolution. Generally speaking, depends on your monitor and your aspect ratio. But once you have aspect ratio, you should be able to turn the resolution up as high as you want. You should. Um, three modes, window, borderless window, and full screen. Borderless window is what I always play at and what I recommend other people to play at, but it's personal preference. Full screen, you can get a little bit more, a little bit more graphical quality um, for nothing, but with borderless window, I can do this, and wham, my start menu's up. So, pretty cool. Um, I generally keep it, like I said, at borderless window. Um, brightness, full screen option on borderless window, do not use it. So in the advanced setting we have, um, most of this stuff is going to really stress your processor, and I generally keep it off. I've got a pretty beefy computer, but I try to get every frame, every single bit of power, like every... If I can get three frames per second by turning off everything, it's worth it for me. Um, but really I want to focus on ant aliasing, which is basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a mechanic that smooths edges on textures in the game. It makes everything seem smoother and less computerized. It uses a lot of graphics card power. Um, it's really optimized for NVIDIA cards. AMD cards are better at something called antroscopic filtering, which enhances the quality of textures, especially in the distance. It's not a setting that we have on here. It's a setting that you'll see a lot in MMORPGs and first-person shooters. Um, but really, if you use an AMD card, I'd recommend having ant aliasing off, even if you have a card as beefy as mine. I've got like a $300.7950 with aftermarket cooling, which is a really heavy card, and I still don't run ant aliasing because it's AMD. Uh, V-Sync, this is something that you absolutely positively have to have on if you use an HDMI cable and not a DVI cable to connect your monitor to your PC. Um, you might notice lines across your screen as if you press the fast forward button on a VCR player. That's called screen tearing. And you can prevent this by using V-Sync because it locks the refresh rate of your monitor to your computer, essentially. Um, down here, shadow quality. I'm not sure how much this would tax a uh, graphics card, AMD, or NVIDIA. I keep my shadow quality on pretty low, but I keep my texture quality on high because I've noticed, again, AMD's pretty good with textures, and in general, textures don't really suck up the kind of power that things like um, anti-aliasing does, or anti-aliasing does. Um, so that's basically it for video. I'm going to move over here to audio. Uh, next, master volume, which obviously controls everything, game, music, voice, unit, speech, all that's controlled by master. The only t I always keep this at 100 unless I'm making a video where I'm worried about loud noises, in which case turn everything down. Um, game volume, you typically don't want this at 100%. This controls everything in game that isn't voice, music, or unit speech. Um, and by voice, we mean other people's, player, other people's voices coming in over microphones. Um, and I'll skip music for a second. Voice volume, you always want to have at 100%. Pretty much always, because generally speaking, the problem with people's microphones is that it, they are too quiet. Occasionally, I get someone screaming through a really loud microphone, you just mute them, whatever, but generally speaking, microphones are too quiet in my experience. It's another reason that I keep game volume down and master volume all the way up so that I can really clearly hear voices. Because if you hear the game volume quietly in the background, you'll know when you're getting ganked or know when, what's going on in a team fight. But the voice volume, sometimes you can't hear people correctly and you, it can cause big problems. Music volume, very self-explanatory. Dota music. Um, that's just the background music if you don't listen to something on iTunes or whatever player you use. And then unit speech volume, when you click on, uh, when you click on Lycan and he says gather wolves, that is that. It's just whatever unit responses and speech responses you have. Um, coming from the heroes, creeps, whatever. Enable open mic. This is, as you can see, it's lighting up like hell. Um, basically, this threshold right here is how loud my voice is. See, right now it's all red, which means that even if I have it turned up all the way, like, even if I just run my hand on my keyboard, it's going to trigger it. My mic's pretty sensitive. But basically, the open mic threshold, it sets 
how much noise is needed to turn on your open mic. Um, generally speaking, you want to keep open mic disabled, and if you go to hotkeys, and then you go down here to voice, you can set a hotkey for voice chat, and that automatically turns on push to talk. So if you have open mic disabled, you can use this hotkey, speak, and your mic will automatically turn on whenever you're holding down the hotkey. It will pick up your voice, carry your voice, etc. And this brings me to another important thing. A lot of people don't realize, like, maybe, why is my voice so quiet to my friends? We want to go down to your little icon for of a speaker down here where you can adjust your volume, etc. And you want to go to either playback or recording devices and then go to the recording devices tab. Right now the webcam I'm recording this video with is set to my default device. So whatever you want your default mic to be, and you can tell by, you can blow in the mic and if, it, if you quietly blow into the mic and it lights up completely, that's how you know which device is which. Um, this is the device on my headset which is actually broken, um, so yeah. But anyway, Always, 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 pretty much always, unless you have a very special microphone. You want to go to Properties, go to Levels, and turn this up to 100%. That lets people hear you the most clearly. Again, there will be situations in some... There will be some, some microphones you will come over too loud. But from, from my experience, the majority of microphones, you can turn it up to 100%, and you're right where you want to be. Um, and another thing that's really important to point out, you notice I can switch to default and switch back to default... Dota will not detect this if you change default while the game is running. You need to close the game, change your default microphone, and then open up the game again to get everything to work properly. This is not true for playback. I can change my headphones to my desktop speakers and Dota will automatically detect that. It didn't for years, but they fixed that bug with the client. But with recording devices with your microphone input, you still have to change default device. Um... That's basically it. There's a few other things like you can you can set a default device if you want to always have Dota coming through a specific device. For instance, if you only play Dota with headphones, you might want to set it to your headphones. It also allows you to more easily change things in game. Um, speaker configuration. I've honestly never tried this. Let's try this. Well, I don't really see much of a difference. Um, regardless, it's there. Use captions, um, I have no idea what this is for. Play sound and desktop. You generally want this enabled because this way if you're doing something like you're browsing Reddit or messing around on the internet or doing something on your computer, you can hear in the background when you find a game in addition to the flashing tab in your start menu. Um, chat message sound. This enables a very annoying sound that plays every time someone sends a message of any kind within a game of Dota. Not Steam, but within the game of Dota. I uh, generally keep it disabled. You'll usually see messages when they pop up anyway. Mute co-broadcasters. If you're not broadcasting, you don't need to worry about that. Unit speech, off, events, all. I generally keep it on all because it doesn't really distract you in-game. It doesn't really take away from your ability to play competitively. And it also... It adds color to the game without really taxing your computer. Uh, sound quality, if you have a high-end computer, keep it on high. If you have a laptop or a lower-end computer, keep it on medium. I had it on medium forever and just noticed they had a setting for it, so I turned it up to high recently. I have not found a difference in the quality, so it's not a big deal if you have it on medium. But anyway, this is my guide to optimizing your video, audio, and microphone settings in Dota 2. I hope you liked this video. I, it really needed an update compared to the one that I've had up there for a few years. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like the video, follow me on Twitter, at esportsmoneys. Um, and you can find me on twitch.tv slash macx10, where I stream live, where I stream live games of Dota um, at 4.5k MMR, um, mostly playing Lycan these days. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Um, Peace.